The sub uh, is fully run by joysticks. Uh, it's fully electronic. It works with a network. I have a display here. I could see my RPM. I could see uh, my gyroscopes and the status of my back uh, driver. See if he's alive still and what's going on with him. Uh, I'm turning two sets of pedals. I don't know if you can actually see it. There's two sets of pedals. They're in sync. So the bad guy is turning in the right direction and I'm too. We just barely, our feet barely pass. It's very, very close. We go to those the back here. We have the second guy, which is uh, fa facing this way. So he's facing backwards. He's got some windows. Same thing, he's got the same display. You can see his RPM and the uh, different status of uh, the submarine. The variable pitch system uh, is connected here. It's, this plate actually forwards and backs up. It pushes a shaft that's through the main shaft. So if it actually turns, you, you see the, you can see the, the, the sprocket's turning, but not the center shaft, which is pushing the, uh, the variable pitch system. In the back here, it's quite jammed up, but you can see all these little boxes. Each of these boxes are basically servo motors that we built, especially for underwater uh, systems. We have four of them that drive these special fins and uh, that are controlled from the joystick in the front. And then in the back, you can see how the variable pitch system works. If we open up the back cone, we can see the two, this rod gets pushed and there's a few little connecting things which bring it up and down. Can't really move it much, but we can see it moving a little bit. And that's basically how this sub works. The big challenge is to getting uh, all the, not all the parameters, all the teamwork and all the stuff to have the mechanic working, the electrical working, the supply, the air, have everything working at the same time at the right, all the right time to get through the gates at the fastest speed. That's really the, the main, uh, the biggest challenge is to get all those little pieces together at, in, in synchrony if you want. All right, well basically what this does is a, it's a memory stick. It's, a, it's where we keep all the information in the sub. I bring this down to the submarine. I, uh, I, I go in the submarine, I bring this with me, I plug it into the submarine. And by plugging this in the submarine, it'll bring, it's going to upload all the values that we preset it in the memory. These, me these values are uh, the variable pitch, the set point, uh, how hard the joystick works, that kind of parameters. After the end of the race, I'll bring this back here. I'm going to connect here, download the memory. It's going to load up the memory off of this into the computer. And then I'm going to go and verify, go and see what it looks like. Now we're, we started with a cleared race. You decide to go and see, I don't know, like uh, the RPM of the race. Now we see the RPM of the race, around 100 RPMs for the race. Then we could go see the, how the variable pitch works. So now we have, we can see the variable pitch. Once we actually ran for a little while, it started to progress up and up and up as the pitch was going up. We can also go see a lot of other parameters down here. And uh, one of them kind of interesting is uh, the speed. So now we superimpose the speed. There's a, there's a lot of things like that, glitches if you want, but the, the average line is what we're going for. And uh, you can see also the depth, how, how, uh, how deep in the water I was, and a, and a lot of other, it, could sh it shows where you were. And there's a lot of accelerometers and gyroscopes and other stuff we can go and get for data collection. From there, we take, we take it and we, we go back to here and we actually save the data and it brings it to Excel spreadsheets and you can put it back into MATLAB and verify uh, how much horsepower the guys are outputting and other data like that. That's basically the electronic part of it. I would have to say that we learn more in there by quite a bit than we learn in any of the classes we learn. You learn the theory in the classes, but there's no real ap applying it. And in there, a lot of people, would, a lot of new people start in the submarine things. They oh, it's easy. We'll plug a few things together and it's going to work. And they realize right away that after a few weeks, it doesn't work at all that way. You know, it's, it's a nice theory, but in practice, a lot of things, water and, and condensation and all kinds of little details and bugs and stuff. So uh, you, you learn a lot. You definitely learn a lot about stuff.